Good morning, welcome back on this December 2nd, 2023. We are in Westwood up in LA at Pierce Brothers Memorial. Thought I'd come up here, it's a very, very small cemetery. No end to how many famous people are buried here. Uh, I thought we'd start off here and then go around LA and do a couple videos. Let's go check it out. So shooting so much stuff in Palm Springs, I just saw this and I thought we'd, just, this is Kirk and Ann Douglas. Eric Douglas, 1958 to 2004. But as you walk down and as you can see, yeah, we're right in the middle of it. So if you're going down Wilshire headed east, you kind of got to turn kind of quick and go between those two buildings to get here. So just a heads up if you ever want to make the trek yourself to Pierce Brothers in Westwood by UCLA. Right here, we have Walter Mathau. This guy was awesome too. October 1st, 1920 to July 1st, 2000. Got a thing with the first. Walter Matthew, grumpy old men. My dad and I, big fans. Another famous icon. I will not be right back after this message. We got Merv Griffin from the Merv Griffin Show. And right next to Merv, Farrah Fawcett. She doesn't have any dates. Stopping by one of my favorites of all time. Oh, so much to this guy, Rodney Dangerfield. And it reads, there goes the neighborhood. I was lucky enough to see Rodney once at the MGM in Las Vegas, so that was pretty cool. Guy cracked me up, man. Had humor like, Nobody else. I mean, geez, we just saw Red Fox the other day in my other video on Vegas and now Rodney. So we got Peter Falk right here. <laughs> I'm not here. I'm home with Shira, it says. But the one thing that I think is so cool, and I totally forgot about this, Sam Simon, who just recently passed away. The Simpsons creator. And as you can see, there's a small Bart there. It's not how many times you get knocked down, it's how many times you get back up. Beware of the dog, they got this statue there. And his animals too. Columbo, Gertie, Petulia, and Harvey. Rest in peace, Sam. Passed away March 8, 2015. I'm not familiar with uh, Billy Wilder, but it says, I'm a writer, but then nobody's perfect. And it says, here's Audrey Wilder. Wilder. I'm right here, Billy. It's kind of cool. Carol O'Connor, Nancy Fields O'Connor, Hugh O'Connor, Jack Lemon. What's essential is it visible to the eye. Somebody put a, a toy car right there by Jack. Thought I'd show the main church too, where they have the services. It's actually quite small. There's the inside. So a quick overview of the cemetery. There are quite a few people walking around. It's really early. Here are the, all the old, old plots that you can see. Look at this, this is 1800s, 1922, 1918. Um, there's so many famous people here. We're gonna get over to that side, over there. I got so many things to see. So yeah, if cemeteries and famous people are your thing, this is the place to go. So I just walked into the garden and I stumbled across this directly from the church itself. Sage Stallone, the eldest son of actor Sylvester Stallone, of course, Rocky. May 5th, 1976 to July 20th, 2012. And it was said that Sage actually died of a heart attack at his young, young age. I mean, geez, what was that, 11 years ago? So in his 30s, rest in peace, Sage. Now, I always remember this one in the corner, and I always thought this was strange, and there's new flowers here for Georgia uh, Frontieri. You continue to shine a light for our family and friends. You are forever in our hearts, and they got the, the light always burning, which is nice. But if you don't know who she is, she was the owner of the Los Angeles Rams, and she was actually the person that moved the Rams back to St. Louis before they came back to L.A., but yet she's buried in L.A., but, okay. Anyways, 
Georgia Frontieri, LA Rams owner. Just around the corner from Georgia is uh, Jason Phillips Davis. And uh, if you remember the show Seventh Heaven, he was on that. And he was also the voice of Recess. Um, I forgot what cartoon it was, but he actually died in 2020. He was born in 1904, young too, died of fentanyl. And uh, it was actually accidental or determined to be accidental. So he's right around the corner as well. As you can see, there's a little picture of a recess on there. So we've made our way over to the Sanctuary of Love right here. We have this big tree as you come in. Come in, make a left, go all the way down, loop around. Sanctuary of Love, Dean Martin. And June 7th, 1917, passed away Christmas Day, 1995. And as it's noted here, everybody loves somebody sometime. Rest in peace, Dean. So as we make our way into this, I just want to make it easy for everyone because this is one of the most notable uh, plots around here. And we have Marilyn Monroe, of course. that they have to always wipe down because people are always kissing it with the lipstick right here. So rest in peace, Marilyn, get out of my shadow. And 2017, Hugh Hefner, who always made sure that he'd be right there next to him. Marilyn, that's pretty cool. Two huge icons, just right here, Hugh Hefner and Marilyn Monroe. So as you're walking around this cemetery, the one thing I want to say is they do have QR codes here. Besides find a grave, which is always a, a good way to find one person you're looking for. But if you really want to look, there's QR co codes that you can scan with your phone, kind of get an idea of the layout of the land. Right here, though, Heather O'Rourke passed away, born December 27th, 1975, passed away February 1st, 1988. If you're not familiar with Heather O'Rourke, maybe you're familiar with Poltergeist, Carol Ann, Poltergeist 1, 2, and 3. It's right here, right next to me, Mel Torme. We'll take a look at him too, but not even a stone's throw. You just walk around. And so we have Carol Ann right here. This is going to blow your mind as it does mine. Right here. 1924, 1984, Truman Capote. Amazing, amazing people that are just buried here. Jackie Collins. Um, who else is there? Let's see, I, I haven't looked. I mean, I'm just looking as I speak to you guys. So we're gonna take a few more uh, loops around and see what else we can find. So I did want to show uh, Truman Capote. I had no idea he was here. That blows my mind. 1924 and 1904, Belo beloved friends, Joanne Carson. I, the movie that uh, was done with Philip Seymour Hoffman, it slips my mind right now, but so good with Truman. He did such a good job, but here's little Heather O'Rourke, Carol Ann. Rest in peace, Heather. I know this dates me, but I'm in my mid 40s. Loving father, loving husband, the velvet fog. So many gifts, so loving shared. Mel Torme. So good on Seinfeld, too. <laughs> it's Kramer. If you've never seen that episode. And yes, we are in UCLA Westwood. This is one of the bigger uh, mausoleums. It's the Arm and Hammer. And if you look in your fridge right now, you might notice you have some Arm and Hammer. Or you might know the actor Army Hammer, who's in, in out of trouble all the time and got family issues. But as we look inside, I believe it's probably locked. Yes, it is. Michael Hammer, 
beloved husband of Francis Arm and Hammer, 1898-1990. Francis Hammer. One of the stranger Hollywood deaths that have been around. This was in 1981 and one I did not expect to see. But this is Natalie Wood Wagner. Natalie Wood, Rebel Without a Cause. Beloved daughter, sister, wife, mother, and friend. More than love is what it says on here. And she was with Christopher Walken and Robert Wagner out of Catalina when she mysteriously drowned and went missing. And she too is laid to rest here. I showed you guys this earlier. There's Dean. Here's this crazy tree that looks like it's been here forever, but look at that bench right there. It's just been eaten by the tree. You know, I don't um, always, I do cemetery videos, but usually I have more of a point for one person. I you know, don't expect so many famous people in such a small area. Um, that's why I did this video. And for a lot of people that aren't able to get out here to LA or Westwood area and, and see some of their favorite actors or their resting places where they finally have been put to rest, I thought this would be nice to kind of just show some people that probably made a lot of impressions on a lot of our lives. I know they did mine. So there's a few more that I want to look for. So here we are at Stuart Regan's and I thought this was kind of neat because you don't really see a, a stone like this. Stars don't stand still in the sky. Stuart Regan uh, was a producer and one of the movies that he worked on was Zombie Undead, but one that we might all be familiar with was a Nicolas Cage and Elizabeth Shue Leaving Las Vegas, which was a pretty dark movie. Um, 59 to 98, he was not that old at all. So that is a pretty interesting headstone, though. Sammy Kahn, I don't know if this name might ring a bell to you. It Sleep with a Smile, Sammy Kahn, 1913 to 1993. Sammy Kahn was a lyricist. Uh, songwriter that so many songs for Frank Sinatra and in those days uh, very very well known uh, throughout those times but yeah he too is buried right here in the middle of all this I mean it just goes on and on and on I mean so this is really interesting to me this is Dorothy Stratton and if you don't know that name I believe Grim Life Collective did a video on this or I believe it was Dorothy Stratton, look it up. She was a Canadian model that was working as a young child at a Dairy Queen, got discovered, became a Playboy model, uh, was in TV, started getting some jobs in film, had a boyfriend, and in the 1980s, she was breaking up with him. I believe they were living in the valley, the San Fernando Valley, right over the hill. And he came over to see her and they were going through a divorce and without being too graphic he did some things to her and then killed her with a shotgun that he just recently purchased he then turned the gun on himself and killed himself um passed away way too soon she was 20 years old august 14th 1980 if people bring so much courage to this world the world has to kill them to break them so of course it kills them. It kills them very good and the very gentle and very brave and partially. If you are none of these, you can be sure that it will kill you too. But there will be no special hurry. We love you. So, yeah. Taken way too soon. Horrible circumstances. And from Canada, ended up here. The little skyscrapers, UCLA. Rest in peace, Dorothy. So as I continue to meander through here, I'm looking for one person in particular before we hit the road, but I did come across Bob Crane, Hogan and Hilda, together forever. And Bob Crane was from a show called Hogan's Heroes. Also, as I look around and I try to find the final uh, pressing place of one more person, this Dear Darling one, I, I looked online and it actually a lot of people 
do uh, reference this online. The Dear Darling, from what I've gathered, is that this is actually uh, Keanu Reeves' child that passed away. Supposedly. Allegedly. But pretty interesting artwork nonetheless, and it does catch your eye. And this is one that I was looking for right below this tree, okay? So if you're looking for it right below this tree, follow it straight down, much smaller than I thought it would be. But I did finally find it. And it's the queen of the pinups, Betty Mae Page. Now, if you don't know who Betty Page is, I recommend looking her up. I mean, from the Korean War times, uh, she was the pinup mo model, uh, the model of darkness. She was coined just so many names, you know, and people have frowned upon it. But she's an icon in American history and through the war times and just as a model taking countless amount of pictures. Uh, she was in Playboy. She actually was discovered, I believe, before or when she started doing her pinup stuff. She was working at Coney Island. She lived in Miami, Coney Island. She was from Nashville. And she was actually put into an asylum at one time as well. And when she was released, um, for the rest of her life, she did live somewhat comfortably. I believe she lived not too far from here, actually. And Hugh Hefner made sure that she never had to worry about anything. So he took care of her as well. But I think that's it for this place this time. Just wanted to give a quick overview. I am now the only person out here. When I came here, there was quite a few. It's not that big at all, but lots of history. So with that being said, thanks for watching if you made it this far. If you do like these sort of videos, hey, share it. Maybe even, I don't know, subscribe if you'd like. Really appreciate that. Also, um, leave a comment if there's somebody here that you'd like to see or if there's somebody you'd like me to go more into detail about. I mean, countless lives, countless American icons, just amazing people all here, all buried together, hopefully all resting at peace. So thank you for watching once again. And I'm doing another video while I'm up here. I'm doing probably a couple videos while I'm up here. This is kind of a commute, so might as well make the most of it. Um, December 2nd. Thanks for watching. See you next time. I thought I'd stop for one more minute by Rodney just because this was the reason why I even found out about this place coming here, shoot, 20 years ago, just to see Rodney after he passed. Uh, like I said, he's got, there goes the neighborhood. Gotta love it. And still probably getting no respect. I tell you, now I tell you, I'm all right now, but last week I was in rough shape, you know? <laughs> Now, last week, I told my wife I need a home improvement loan. She gave me $1,000 to move out. My wife, she drives me nuts. She was afraid of the dark. She saw me naked. Now she's afraid of the light. <laughs> now, I tell you, actually, I shouldn't tell jokes about my wife. I mean, she's attached to a machine that keeps her alive. The refrigerator. <laughs> and I tell you, my wife, she can't cook either. My house, we pray after we eat. <laughs> I'll tell you, my trouble got the wrong doctor. You know my doctor, Dr. Vinnie Boombox. Know my doctor... And I saw him last week. I told him, Doc, every day I wake up, I look in the mirror, I want to throw up. What's wrong with me? He said, I don't know, but your eyesight is perfect. <laughs> ah, you kid. Now, you kid. I know I'm ugly. I asked a bartender to make me a zombie. Told me God beat him to it. Ugly <laughs> kid, too. I told my old man, never took me to the zoo. He said, if they want you, they'll come and get you. <laughs> well, that's the story of my life. No respect. I don't get no respect. <laughs>